What the hell were you thinking? You always take her side. Is that fair? You humiliated me in front of the entire family. What more were you planning to do if I hadn't told you to leave? Insult my grandparents too? You didn't even bother to listen to my side of the story. You accused my mother of stealing your cups. Do you really think she couldn't afford to buy her own? I asked her if she had seen where they were. She was the only other person there during the week. Plus, she was the one preparing dinner today. Instead of thanking her, you accused her. What's wrong with you? She spent all day cooking and cleaning while you were busy with work. I told you weeks ago we were having a family dinner. Are you still going on about that? You know, I'm working extra hours to replace the bumper you broke. You were the reason I couldn't be here today to help with the cleaning and cooking. Now, strangers are in my kitchen. What if they broke the cups and threw them away? I wouldn't be surprised if they disappeared into thin air. I'm sorry, but I wouldn't. I don't care if you buy it or not. What matters is that you upset my mother. You made me look foolish in front of the family. Do you know how important this dinner was to welcome my sister back from serving in the military? I didn't want to make a scene. I asked her nicely, but she was so rude to me. That's when I was convinced she was responsible. You know what that scent means to me. I never use it because it's so rare. Why do you care so much about materialistic things? It doesn't matter where the cups came from. What you need to do is apologize. And lower your voice. The whole apartment block can hear you. I want to go back home. I'll apologize to her even though I'm not wrong. I kicked you out so you could learn some decorum. Come back tomorrow and then we can discuss this. Otherwise, just leave. You're ruining the dinner. Why is your brother here? He won't stop knocking on my door. He's here to teach you a lesson. That house is mine too. And you can't just tell me to leave. I'll talk to him man to man. Just know you're making a big mistake. I'll explain and he'll understand why I did what I did. Are you so sure about that? Because he's here to tell you to leave my house. No way. I'm not leaving. Open the door for him unless you want me to call the security company. Do you want me to make more noise? No, of course not. But babe, it was just a small misunderstanding. So now that your family is gone, you want to say sorry? The problem is that you think just because your family is large, you allowed them to bully me. Well, my older brother is alive and well. And tonight, you're the one leaving that house. Not me. I won't let you treat me like trash and expect me to accept it. Ever. What the hell happened last night? What did you and your lunatic brother do to my son? He refused to leave my house. You were kicked out, so why did you want the house? Do you know that this is the last straw and your marriage is not going to last after this? This is what happens when there is no mother figure in a girl's life. You are one to talk, you thief. I will tell my brother to arrest you for stealing my things. Wait, I think that we should not overreact. I'm sorry your cups broke and I threw them away. So why did you lie and then get me kicked out? I did not want to look clumsy in front of the family. Please have mercy on my son. So now you want mercy after my brother kicked your son out? But then why did you get him arrested? He did not want to leave my house and was causing a scene. So the neighbors called the cops and he got arrested. 
What you did was not fair. How do you do that to your own family? Family? You guys humiliated me. Treated me like I was some sort of slave. I cried and begged him not to kick me out. But what did he say? He called me trash and told me never to return. I had nothing but the clothes on my back. He will not do that again. Please do not press charges against him. That is up to my brother. You can try and talk to him, but he is furious about the way I've been treated. No one messes with his little sister. Please, it was a misunderstanding. Please get my son released. You know where to go and see him if you want to. Unfortunately, he is going to have to spend the rest of the weekend there before he can apply for bail. But it cannot be that bad. If you guys really want to see how bad it is, then you must look at how I look. When he threw me out, he didn't see that he was throwing me on concrete. My knees got hurt and my ankle still hurts. If you want to allow your son to treat me like this, then my brother is only fair in taking revenge. I am his sister after all. My dear, please do not do this. He's your husband and has given you the best years of your life. Do not think that your brother has scared me off. I have hired a lawyer who is going to make sure that you are down on your knees. You are going to leave that house with only what is yours. I do not care for your empty threats. How could you just throw me out like that in front of your mother? Well, I guess this means that we are going to divorce, is it not? I don't know. Maybe that is what is best. What I don't agree with is the way that you disrespected me. By the way, your mother admitted that she was wrong. Okay. Can we please meet in person so that we can discuss this? Okay. We can meet at 3 p.m. at our usual lunch spot. By the way, I really am sorry for how I acted. Spending time in prison has really made me realize just how wrong I was. I want to believe you. You know I do. But this morning you wanted to divorce me. Sorry. My head is still a bit concussed after what happened on Friday. I will get you another set. No point in doing that because they do not make those sets anymore. Can I at least come home? Yes, you can. But you are sleeping in the spare room. Thank you for being so kind to me. Let us work through our issues together and not involve other people, okay? Fine. Maybe that will work. But my brother is there. Remember that. I have never told him when we have problems out of respect for you and your family. But you should know, if you ever pull a stunt like that ever again, he is available. I promise that I understand. I am also very sorry. Me too. Hey, I'm coming by your house to check on you. Can I buy something for you to eat? Ugh, oh, no, it's fine. I'm already going to cook. Has he bothered you since then? You've not updated me since then. Well, about that... I forgave him. After how he treated you? Are you dumb? I am sorry, okay? I'm sorry for also involving the cops and everything. But he says that he has learned his lesson. He will not do that again. And his mother apologized too. <sighs> After they did this, I do not trust them to take care of my family. I thought you said that they were the sweetest people ever. So why did they kick you out like that? It was a misunderstanding. I am honestly so ashamed about the events of last Friday. The neighbors have been giving me nasty looks since then. They will pass, but I am still coming to check in on you. Okay, please do. But please be nice to Jack. I will be if he behaves himself. Okay, good. See you then.
Hey, how are you? I wanted to follow up on the loan you have with us for $2,000. What loan? You took a loan from us a couple of months ago, but you didn't pay it back. No, I did not. Jack told me about it. I really need the money right now. I have a medical emergency. What is wrong? I woke up in a lot of pain. Right now I'm at the hospital. They are running tests. But so far they tell me that my appendix might have burst. I do not believe you. How are you still able to text? You must be in so much pain. Come and see me then. I am seriously in a lot of pain. My medical aid is only going to cover a certain amount. I need the rest as soon as you can get it. Okay, let me see if I can get it. Have you managed to make a plan? No, I have not. I do not have the money. Take out a loan then. Does Jack know about this? Yes, of course he does. He is busy trying to make sure that I'm feeling comfortable and discussing options with the doctor. I am sorry, but you are going to just have to sell some things or ask your brother for the money. The money that I have is for my trip upstate to visit my daughter. Ugh. You are pissing me off right now. We want our money back. I have a medical emergency. Well, you are still alive, are you not? Thank you so much for checking up on me. I finally had the surgery. Well, you were so aggressive that I could not visit you. Yes, thanks to you, I am in medical debt and I will not be able to work for a while. Babe, you were supposed to be home ages ago. I am sorry. My mom needed something. Did she give you the money? No, she did not. You have access to her account, right? Get our money, or do not come home at all. Excuse me? Who do you think you are? That money was a gift. You took that money out of our account. So how the hell was it a gift? Look, I will get a loan from somewhere so that we can pay the outstanding $3,000. By the way, can your brother not help us with money? He has a wife and three kids. He doesn't have money. He told me, and he even showed me just how much money he has. Wow. It is funny how he would not be able to help you out now, but when it comes to roughing your husband up, he is the first. Please, not now. He's been so helpful lately checking on, on me when he can. I know. I will make a plan for the money. Just be patient. <sighs> okay, my love. Jack, I have just woken up and you're not here. What the hell happened last night? Look around the house, then you can see what happened. Okay. Where is the furniture, Jack? I moved back in with my mom. Why? Because I don't want to live with you anymore. I am not your nurse. I can never sleep because you will be making me run errands all the time. I do not think that I can wait for you to heal. You said that you wanted to fix this marriage. I never did. I was just looking for a way to get back to you. How could you do this to your own wife? The truth is that after the surgery, I have realized that you are just a liability. I do not get why I have to pay off your debt. Because we are married. You should have thought about that before you set off your rabid brother on me. Do not call my brother that. Do not call him on me again. Otherwise, this time I will make sure that he loses his job. Good day. Sis, how are you feeling? 
Say it. You told me so. What do you mean by that, sis? He took everything and left, knowing that I am in debt and cannot work for a while. I am coming there right now, and we will talk about this. This time, there is no need to confront him. He has made his choice and shown me just how much he values me. That little rat. You should not have taken him back. I know. I can be so dumb. Why did I do this to myself? Oh no, do not say that, sis. He is an idiot who cannot decide without consulting his mom. He took out the trash on his own. Do not worry about anything. I will fix it all. Thank you so much. You are the only person I have. I had someone run a background check on him. What did they find out? Well, they found out that he was part of an investigation at work a year ago. The money went missing and he was suspended. It was never proven. Did you notice him spending a lot of money overnight? Yes, I think I did. And I also have his bank statements. He was dumb enough to leave everything at this house. Good. Gather all of them in one place and then I will see how to go about this. Okay. Thank you so much. I will also send my wife to come and fetch you in a couple of minutes. We are here to nurse you back to health. You do not need that scum. Thanks. I so wish that I had listened to you months ago when you told me that he didn't respect me. This whole time, he was just looking for a chance to leave me. If you ask me, he was just using you because you have a good job. Tell me, who was always paying for things? Well, I did. But he always said that he would pay me back. Who bought the apartment? I am the one who took a mortgage out on it. Oh my word. I should have warned you about this. Well, I should have learned this on my own. You were too busy providing for us. And since mom was not there to raise me, no one could have told me about this. It is not too late. I know that you can still fix this. I hope I haven't made too big a mess of things. What is this that you've sent me? I want my money. I lent you money and you did not give it back to me. Now I am in a financial crisis and I really need the money. Oh, so you can afford to go to court? You are forgetting that my best friend is a lawyer who graduated from an Ivy League school. She is more than willing to take the case pro bono for me. After the stunt that your son pulled on me, I am not going to have mercy on either of you. You are going to pay for every single thing. The pain that I am in now will seem like nothing compared to what I will do to you. By the way, do you know that he is away for a festival? He is definitely going to find someone better than you there. He could marry a roach and I would not care. So, when are you paying me back? Or do you want me to take you to court? I will make sure that I get all your life savings. Fine. I will send you the money as long as you give my son a clean divorce. I figured that we are, even since he took all the furniture in the house. Okay. I sent the money to you. Check it. I think it will reflect in a couple of hours. Saw it? Now, is that so hard? You always want to drag things out. By the way, while you were in the hospital recovering, and when you were home unable to recover, he was seeing his ex, Susanna. He would not talk to her. She has not been in town for years now. She is back, and has been for months now. The only problem with you is that you focus on trivial things like cups, instead of focusing on the woman who has always had control over your husband. Did you push him to her? Is that why he has been distant from me? Pay attention carefully. I know my son. He married you because he could not be with her at the time. The truth is that you were a rebound. That is all that you will ever be. 
Why would he want to be with you? Okay. Thank you for insulting me further. You have shown that brains are not an inherited trait in your family. That's fine. Thieving and lying are your expertise. Tell me when he is back from whatever he is doing with Susanna. Better her than me. I was getting tired of paying his bills and fixing his messes. What are you talking about? My son works very hard. He sends money to me every month. I know he does. That is why he is always broke. I will have to love and leave you. Thank you for showing me your true colors before I had a child with your tainted genes. How dare you insult us like that, you pig? I wish you the best with Susanna. I hope that she does not break your little heart into pieces once again. Because you know very well that I will not be there to pick them up this time. I am not anybody's rebound. Especially not yours. I guess you have a bit more self-confidence now that you have healed up and are back to work. The only thing is that I will never find myself wanting you again. You are actually boring. Says the person who's Bills I was paying for years? Focus on your empty apartment. I bet that brother of yours was not able to buy you everything again. Don't worry about my apartment. I got new furniture. It wasn't that expensive. You know, what you did not know is that they gave me my money at work. I had a couple of pending bonuses that they expedited once I got sick. So I'm actually in a better financial state than I was when I was with you. It's also funny how my mental health has improved. I was always so stressed because of you. I guess now you can rest in peace since I'm no longer in your life. Oh, did you think that I was done with you? We are far from done, dear. Even if we have just gotten divorced. What are you talking about? You got the stupid apartment and got to keep your money. The only problem that I have is that you are not remorseful. You have gotten off unscathed. What will you do now? Send your brother to beat me up? You are not that special. What I have planned for you is epic. You will never be able to recover from this one. What is it? It will come soon. You don't know if it's tomorrow, next month, or next year. All you need to know is that you are going down. I am not scared of you. So I would like you to know that you can bring it on. You are forgetting who you are talking to. The man who drugged me and then stole my furniture when I was bedridden? You really think you did something there? I will show you that I can do worse. All of these years of me being a doorstep are over. Me covering for you and bailing you out, only to be repaid with disrespect, are done. I do not fear you. Do what you want to me. It does not change the fact that you are going back home to a very empty bed, while I have the love of my life back with me. When she is with me, nothing can touch me. I hope that she stands by you through this, because I have a feeling that she won't. You are talking nonsense right now. Go out and do what single depressed women do. I have a dinner to get to with my family and my new girlfriend. Very well. My son has just gotten arrested. I'm trying to get him out, but they don't want me to see him. Your brother is a cop, right? Please get him out of jail. He cannot be in jail right now. He did not do what they were accusing him of. It is two in the morning. Did he get arrested right now? No. Late in the afternoon when he was at work. So far, I've been trying to get someone to help him out. I need the contact of that friend of yours who is a good lawyer. I'm so sorry, but this is not Susanna's number. You must have saved it. 
What do I have to do with what is happening in his life? Come on, I know that you still care about him. You have not deleted your pictures on social media. Oh, so you have been stalking my social media accounts. Those accounts are out of date. I don't even use them anymore. Besides that, I can't help him because he's guilty. No, 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 he is not. He told you about the time that they accused him of theft at work, right? Yes, of course he did. But he was proven innocent. What if I told you that my brother was the lead investigator in this case? It was reopened around the time that we were getting divorced. He hit his tracks well, but he got caught because he got greedy. There's no way. He just got a promotion, and that is why he put a deposit for me on a condo. No, he did not. He abused his power at work and stole more money. This time, he was caught. If I am guessing right, I would assume that he got broke trying to take care of you and Susanna. He needed more money quickly. And so he decided to do what he did years ago. You knew all of this? And you didn't even warn me? Well, you told me that I'm not a part of your family and that I should buzz off months ago. Did you not? So, I was just trying to mind my own business. I have no obligation to help you out because we are not family. You have treated me like trash. I owe you nothing. You are heartless. How could you do that? That is the man you used to call a husband. Do not pin this on me. He is the one who chose to steal that money. He is the one who chose to marry me under false pretenses. No one told him to. He embarrassed me in front of everyone. And I used to brag about him too. It took me months to even gain the courage to leave the house without feeling shame. After he left me for that woman. Tell her to help him, not me. So, this is what you meant when you said you were going to get revenge? Oh, you made bail. Congratulations are in order. And looks like you did it all without my help. What do you mean when you say without your help? Oh, you do not know how I feel sorry for you. Your mother came to me begging for help when you got arrested. I did not need your help. I have a good lawyer. Okay. Whatever. By the way, you should congratulate your ex on her new relationship. You tricked someone into being in a relationship with you. Great. Oh no. Not me. Not that my romantic life is any of your business. I meant Susanna. What do you mean by that? Has she visited you since you've been locked up? No, she has not. I assumed that she was busy. Her phone has probably been sent to voicemail, right? I do not believe you. I have to see this on my own. You know what? You should do that. Or just check her social media. She loves me. She would never do that. That is the least of your worries. You should focus on building a strong defense. Your former employers are determined to nail you for this and I am more than happy to testify. Your testimony is not valid. You do not even work there. Do you not know who gave them the bulk of the evidence? You will be implicated as well. I didn't know what you were up to. And remember that my friend is a very good lawyer. She will get me out scot-free if things get bad. OMG, she really did move on. I just saw her story. I told you so. I probably sound mean by saying that, but really, did you think that this time was going to be different? She is a high maintenance woman. She will not be able to be with you if you are locked up and cannot provide for her. Not my problem. Gosh, you annoy me. Just so you know, 
I'm on the verge of tearing you and your son apart. Why won't you let us be? Haven't we suffered enough? I'm genuinely sorry. I regret how I treated you. I know deep down you're kind and wouldn't want to harm us. Wrong. I do want to hurt you. You haven't seen the last of me. You'll find me haunting your dreams. My goodness, you're ruthless. When you grow up without a family, and the only family you build ends up betraying you, it messes you up. To exact my revenge, I embraced the role of the villain. Eventually, justice caught up with Jack, and he received the punishment he deserved, a two-year prison sentence for his felony theft. The prison he ended up in is notorious, amplifying the severity of his punishment. Meanwhile, my mother-in-law had to move to a care facility due to financial constraints. On a positive note, my brother earned a well-deserved promotion, improving his ability to provide for his family. Personally, I found a new person in my life who genuinely loves and respects me, as I deserve.